I'm Stephen Yan with Macquarie here for Monty TV. I'm joined by Ben Schachter. Uh, who covers the online space at Macquarie Securities. It's still certainly not too late to be starting companies. We're seeing companies that have started just in the past few years already growing into uh, revenue of tens of millions of dollars. So it's just interesting for me to see that there are still so many companies that can be started even just in just the past year, few years that can do uh, extraordinarily well. I, mean, I think one of the questions really here is there, is there too much money on the private side? Um, in general, as the internet analyst, I get asked a lot, uh, is, are we in another bubble again? And, and my general answer is no, for the public markets, I don't, I don't think we are. The private markets certainly are taking valuations to a level where historically we haven't seen much in, in the private markets in the way they are today. The big difference between where we are today versus where we were 15 years ago during the bubble is that these are real companies at this point, generating real cash. They're not all dependent on each other to, to fund uh, these models. So I actually don't think we're in a bubble in the same sense as where we were uh, historically, but there are a couple of things that are very bubble-esque, and, and one of the things I've been asking a lot of the companies here um, is what does the labor market look like? How difficult is it to find engineers? What are the salaries? What are the, what are the pressures going on there? And I think that really is a challenge for, for many, many companies. I think in general, when you're trying to go to the public markets now, you really do need to have some profitability. You generally need to have a real business that's showing uh, cash flow. You can't just show users anymore in the hopes that at some point in the future will we'll generate real cash. So having a real model, a real financial model that generates actual cash today, I think is more important than it was 15 years ago. Well, around a lot of the smaller companies, really what you're seeing are, are aqua hires. They're, they're really hiring these companies, not necessarily for the direct businesses that they're in, but really it's because they see engineering talent, they see leaders, they see people that they want to join the company, and there's really no other way to find folks that way. Right? You, you have to be able to buy these companies in order to get the engineers, and I think that's one of the things that is actually troubling as a public investor, um, that these companies are paying a lot, really just to hire a lot of uh, people. In general, it's more of a war on talent, um, or war for talent, I should say. Um, people are, are trying to find um, people that, that really can come into these companies and make a big difference, and there just there aren't that many folks out there that have the skill sets that a lot of these internet companies need. So uh, I think that it is challenging. I think there truly is a war for talent now, and like I said, I, I don't think that's particularly good for the investor side of the community. I think in general what you're seeing from some of the larger companies like Google and Apple and others is that they're so big in their core markets, be it the iPhone or AdWords for Google, that they need to find new areas of growth and new areas of growth that can be big enough that, that can move the needle for a company as large as an Apple or as large as a Google. And that's proving very challenging. Um, and I think we're going to have to see over time, can new models emerge? And one of the things that we're very focused on is seeing what healthcare can do with the healthcare tech space and, and can the consumerization of that actually impact the models of a Google or an Apple? It remains to be seen, but I think there are very few categories left in the world that are big enough to really move the needle for, for a Google and an Apple, which is why you hear things about healthcare and about autos, et cetera. So um, it remains to be seen how these things are going to play out, but you certainly see the big companies looking for very large opportunities in order for them to be meaningful enough to matter. For Google and Apple in particular, certainly the enterprise is, is an area that you're going to see them focus in on a lot more. Uh, today we have Andy Jassy, who's the head of AWS from Amazon speaking. Uh, certainly you're going to see Google much more active in that space. Um, Apple in general, working with a partnership with IBM, focusing more on enterprise. So uh, enterprise is again one of those few categories that's large enough and broad enough that actually can matter over time. So you're certainly going to see those companies be more, more aggressive and more active in the enterprise space. That was Ben Schachter. Uh, Macquarie Securities Internet Analyst uh, for Monty TV.